Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last episode, we finally finished up the Forest Temple, and in this episode, we're probably going to do some side questing. So before we do that, there's actually something we need to do in the Temple of Time, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, welcome back everyone. There's actually something we can do here, because... Um, when we first pulled out the Master Sword, Sheik told us that we needed to go to the Forest Temple. But now that we did that, what should we do next? Well, let's see. Let's talk to Sheik. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. Hmm. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the Pedestal of Time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. Hmm. And that's really useful. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach you. Um, I'll teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time. The Prelude of Light. And this is a very useful song because this is another warp song. And if you use this song, you get transported to the Temple of Time. So that's really useful. Useful, especially when you're a child. Okay, let's play this song. Do 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 do. And I'm actually kind of wondering what I need to do because there's actually quite a bit you can do when you're a child after you've done like the forest temple and fire. Um, oh my god, I al already spoiled the next dungeon. Well, the next dungeon is going to be the fire temple, but we're not going to that temple in quite a bit, so don't worry about that for now. Okay, now that we learned that song. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Curly, we shall meet again. Yeah, I guess so, Sheik. Wow, what was that for a light? That was weird. Well, there's actually some things I need to do, so let's go back in time, shall we? Oh my god, this is cool. Link puts his sword back in. Hiya! Mm -hmm. And we're going back in time. For the first time. Okay, and we're small Link again. Um, now that we've learned the Song of Storms, we can actually do quite a bit of things. First, first off, there's a Skulchula we can get, um, I think, near Hyrule Castle. So, we're first going to get that one. So, I'll see you guys there. Well, welcome back everyone. Um, we're finally near Hyrule Castle. And the secret hole that we need to enter is actually right here. And you can't enter this hole unless you use your... Yep, your Song of Storm. So, let's do that and get our Skulchula. Because I'm really sorry, but it's really out of the way, and I just wanted to uh, get it over with. So that's why I'm doing it right now. The, so the sooner the better. And wow, there are like three rooms, but in, in which one is it? So, I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's blow them all up. And I hear, I hear Skulltulas all over the place. Also, I think you can actually pull off a glitch in here, um, in which you can get... An uh, unlimited amount of uh, sco um, unlimited amount of golden sculptures. Uh I'm not really into that stuff, so I'm not going to use it. But if you like cheating, <laughs> that's a nice way to get an unlimited amount of um, gold sculptures, I guess, or get a easy 100 sculptures. And where is that thingy? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's get it. Thank you, okay? Also, how are people supposed to know that that secret hole is there? Because after you visited the princess once, um, there's no real reason to go back there. 
and the stone of you only get the stone of agony if you have 20 sculptulas and i think if you have 20 sculptulas um you're already past hyrule castle so that's one thing I, i'm kind of wondering but yeah that's why we have the internet and <laughs> why you can look it up but yeah now that we did that there's actually a lot more we can do because i think i've told I've told you guys before um at Zora's River, there's actually a log there, and there's actually there are actually hard pieces we can get there. So I'll see you guys there. Well, welcome back, everyone. We're here at the log, and I'm sorry for the en enormous amount of cutting involved, but yeah, I really want to get it over with. So I'm really sorry about that. But let's get some hard pieces. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. Hmm. Those are some suspicious froggies. Um, let's play a song for them, I guess. Um, let's do the Song of Storms. That's a nice little song. Da -da -da, da -da -da. So do you like? Do you guys like that? Oh, I guess so. Wow, that melody is so cool, Ribbit. Sing and in the rain. Oh, what a feeling, Ribbit! <laughs> Please take this as a token of our froggish gratitude, Ribbit. All right, see you, Ribbit. And we got a heart piece, but there's actually another heart piece we can get. So let's do that. And this one is a little trickier. Oh, wait a second. Why are you guys not doing anything? Oh, wait a second. Oh, I already know what to do. You need to use every song you have, I think. And do we have every song? Yes, we do have every song. Well, not really every song, but every song that is needed here. So everything except the warp songs. And if you do that, a funny thing will happen. So let's do that. Uh, let's first use Epona's song, I guess. Because if you use all the songs, the frogs will grow big. And as soon as you've done that, they will actually um, want you to uh, play along with their uh, with their song that they created. So, and if you do, uh, if you complete that, you get a heart piece. Young lad, you play the ocarina well. Mm. That melody is so fine, rabbit. We all, we all should practice it, rabbit. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you can come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it, rabbit, rabbit. Oh my god, I don't really need rupees. I, alre I, I already got 500 rupees and I don't... I can't spend them on anything. Um, Song of Time. Yeah, that's a nice one. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. So which one will grow now? Oh, it's the... Um, I don't know what color that is. Per pinkish? Pinkish one? I don't know. Young lad, yeah, I know. Um, thank you for the rupees, but I I really appreciate it, but I don't really need it. Could you send it to my bank account, please? No, I thought so. Okay, song of... Uh, sun song, yeah. Do, 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 do. So which one will grow? This is really boring to watch. <laughs> I, <laughs> I know, but... Just, just bear with me. Only two more songs left. Two more songs. Um, let's do the Zelda's Lullaby. Bum, bum, bum. And only Saria song is remaining, I believe. So that's nice. After this, it will be really hard. It will actually be kind of reminiscent to that um, a Skull Kid Ocarina practice that we had. Uh, it actually kind of looks like that, so you'll see in a bit. Uh, okay, last one. Saria song. Uh... Yeah, that one. Do you like that, rabbit, rabbit? Oh, they do seem to like it. Young lad, thank you. Okay. Another rupee. Man, this is a really great place to farm rupees. So now that we did that, look at us. We're all huge froggies. We are the world famous, fabulous, five froggish tenors. What? Tenors? Is that how you pronounce it? Ribbit. 
Make us jump so we can eat the bugs flying above us, Ribbit. Okay, then ready, set, go. Okay, um, I think it's eight. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, I got it on my first try. Young boy, you did great. Perfect. We are stuffed. Ribbit. Would you take this token of our gratitude? Hell yeah, I would! Another piece of heart. Well, that's amazing. Thank you, little froggies. You're my best friends. Oh my god, I'm friends with animals. Well, anyway, now that we got that over with, um, what should we do next? Hmm. Um, there's actually one thing we can do in Kakariko Village, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, welcome back everyone, welcome back in Kakariko Village. And there's actually something we can do in the windmill, because when we learned the Song of Storms, that guy told us that a pesky little brat learned him that song um, back in time. And the problem is, we are now young and we have never teach that song to him. So who was it that teached the Song of Storms to that guy in the windmill? Who could that be? Because it can be us, because we don't know it at the moment. Well, okay, we do know it at the moment, but uh, we haven't teached it that guy. So, who t it, it's really It's really a mindfuck, really, because right now he doesn't know the Song of Storms, but in the future he does, and in the future he says that we learned it him. And in the past, he doesn't even know the song. So, that's why we're going to learn it now, so we can fix this bullshit up. Okay. Go around, go around, and around and around. What fun, I'm so happy. I'm a music man who loves to go around and around, go around and around. I'm trying to come up with a musical theme inspired by this windmill. Going around and around and around. Um, maybe something like the Song of Storms? So you're... Uh, oh, wait, the hell, what the hell am I doing? Uh, something like the Song of Storms? So your windmill go apeshit? Will go apeshit? Well, let's see. Okay, and now that it's storming, the windmill is going really, really fast. It's going around, 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 really fast. Just look at a windmill. Look what it's doing. And there's actually something wrong. Because the windmill is actually draining the well. And this is actually a dungeon we need to visit much later on. But I'm actually debating on if I should do it um, in a couple of episodes. Or if I should do it much later. And that's up to you guys. I really don't know. I don't care. Normally I just do it straight away. But I, I can do it later on because that's how you're supposed to do it. So just leave it in the comments and tell me what I should do. Okay. Go around, go around, go around. What? It's going way too fast. Yep. Do you like it? <laughs> well, let's get out of here. Not much else we can do. So now that we drained the well, we can actually access it. And there's a dungeon inside. But, um... I don't know what I should do, so I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to do that later, so let's see how much time we have left. Hmm, I don't really think we have enough time left, but there is one more thing we could do, so I'll see you guys. Oh, wait a second. No, I don't have to say goodbye to you guys because now we have the prelude of light and we can actually go to the temple of time without walking all the way to there ah <sighs> finally because now that I've got all this over with we can actually start the side quest and surprise surprise we can start the side quest in Kakariko village but only if you are a adult if you are an adult and we're not an adult at the moment, so let's go back to adult hut. Adult hut? What the hell? Adult hood. And let's go back to Kakariko village. So, let's draw that sword again, Link. Excalibur! Well, yeah. Maybe... Yeah, I think. Is it inspired of... Um, of... Uh, 
what was that called that I don't know um uh what was it called again who was that guy that that pulled the Excalibur out of the pedestal um I really don't know anymore but now that we've drawn the sword I'll see you guys in Kakariko village so I'll see you there okay welcome back everyone you guys remember that cuckoo lady that's allergic to cuckoos well you can actually start the side quest right there so let's go that way <sighs> hmm okay where is she I think she's near her house like always oh there she is okay let's talk to her and it, she hasn't aged a bit that's so weird I bred a new type of miniature mini, miniature cuckoo I call it a pocket cuckoo I don't get goosebumps from this baby Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy late risers out of bed haven't you heard of them before it makes them very happy to crow Especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You you look like you're good at handling cuckoos. <laughs> and I'm good at handling more stuff, but... Well, never mind. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Of course, because there's a huge reward we finish this quest you borrowed a pocket egg a pocket cuckoo will hatch from it overnight be sure to give it back when you are done with it um yeah well yeah let's just make it night and then make it day so the egg will hatch da -da 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 -da. okay hurry up time we don't have all day okay let's do it again to make the egg hatch ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, soon. And the guy that we actually need to wake up is Talon. You know that that lazy, lazy man, that lazy farmer of Lon Lon Ranch that got kicked out by Ingo, that we woke up earlier when we were we were a child. Well, you can actually find him in the house over there. But I'm actually running low on time, so we are going to do that in the in the next episode next episode we're going to continue this um, little side quest and I really need to know if if I can do that dungeon in the well um, maybe like in the next episodes or much later because else I'll just go to the fire temple so leave your thoughts in the comments and I'll see what I can do so I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one Goodbye.